All right, so let's try a couple more things. So I'm going to zoom in on this guy. I'll put him right in the center of my screen. And just for fun, let's do a smile. And let's put an ellipse on here. There, look how much cooler that looks. Looks so much more happy. All right, cool. Now let's give him some arms. So I'm going to put this here. And then, oh, no, no, I don't like that. I want it locked into there. Let's put it. Hey, how's it going? I'm making a video for my IED kids. All right, so let's use the midpoint here. And I want to take that and make it my midpoint. Bam. All right, and I want to put a couple more fingers on here. So let's make them concentric. I want to escape from that. I'm going to take this guy and I'm going to have him latch onto this circle. When it's highlighted, it will snap together. Beautiful, beautiful. But I don't know if I like the angle of that's coming out. So I want to have this normal meaning that if you drew a line from the center, to hear that line we continue. So it's normal, normal. And see, basically, now you can see if I start a new line way out here. Snap that together there. And if I drag this up, oh, it doesn't like that. Okay, never mind. All right, let's try that one more time. So if I start a line here, I got, you see that that's all connected. Let's escape that. Basically, that's what it does. Also, if you have a tangent line here, it would be perpendicular. So let's put another arm over here. Escape line. Ooh, that looks so weird when they're not the same size. Let's make sure that they're the same size. So this is equal. Go click that one. Go click that one. Ah, beautiful. Now we just have to do a couple fingers over here. And we are done. And you have your snowman. Okay, so I know that you haven't looked at all of these. Some of these are pretty easy. Like if I draw a line, I can make it horizontal now. Now I can make it vertical. Oh, oh, I can't do that. See, it turned red because you can't have a line be vertical and horizontal. I hit Control Z to undo. I'm just going to draw a new line and make that one vertical. I think we did that a little bit with these points, but I can also make them coincident. But anyways, um. So we're actually not going to really worry about the rest of these. This one we're going to use later. This is fixed. So if you look right now, if I'm not in anything, I can take these and drag them around, move them around and stuff. However, if I hit this uh, fixed button, now if you hover, these are black, meaning you, you can't do anything else to them. They will not move. If you notice down here, this guy is black because we fixed this point to the origin and we fixed the size of a rectangle. So it's, it's not going to move. There's nowhere to move it. Um, now, if you notice, if I, let's constrain this one to one, this guy is blue and I can still move it around, but it has a fixed shape. So it's not going anywhere. Now, however, if I fix it to the origin, it's now black because it's a fixed size and it has a fixed location. All right, so if I grab on some of this stuff, I can move it. And some of this stuff, if you move it, it will create some problems. So I'm going to hit Control-Z and put that back the way it's supposed to be. All right, let's zoom out. 
or, well, you can zoom in, you can zoom out. But once you have a screenshot of this, make sure that your name is in it. Paste in your sheet and I'll see.